Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today we're gonna to be fixing a fuel filler neck that has a really bad leak. And I'm gonna show you what we're dealing with and then we're gonna kinda of go through the process and get this thing fixed. Let's go ahead and get started. This is what we're dealing with here. You can see how it's all just patched up. You have all these strapped up fuel hose pieces going into that metal piece. I'm gonna go ahead and put some fuel through it and show you what we're dealing with. As it starts to go through the filler neck, you can see right here, we got a little bit of a leak coming through. If we get a shot from this angle, look at this thing. It's all broken along that part of the hose. As we get a closer look here, you can see what we're dealing with. This thing is just all patched up. And then here along the bottom, um, if we get a look here, I don't know what this is. They've got some kind of compound and junk. It's all peeling up, just real mess. It just, this is in bad shape as we just look everything under here. So I don't know why they did it this way, but we're gonna go ahead and fix it. Loosening up these hose clamps here so we can pull this apart and see what's going on underneath but um looking here it looks like I don't know they have about five of these hose clamps on here and it looks like that could be part of the problem it looks like some of these hose clamps really just kind of cut into the actual fuel line itself causing it to crack and split but uh, it'll be interesting to see what's underneath and uh, we can go ahead and pull all this junk off of here and then attach it properly I'm starting to see here where it looks like the main crack was with the leak. As I pull, look at that, you can see the moisture coming through right there. And it looks like the metal fuel filler neck is kind of split right there. Normally that's all one piece, but it looks like it's split. So I wanna get the rest of these, these hose clamps off so we can pull all this off and see exactly what we're dealing with underneath here. And there we go. We can see exactly what we're dealing with here. And you can see it. It looks like at some point they cut that neck. But we're going to go ahead now and just kind of clean all this gunk off of this 
this metal piece so we can clean it up for when we put the new fuel filler hose material on there it's nice and clean Now with everything cleared off, if I put them together, you can see how the two pieces are supposed to be joined and we can just put a, a, a piece of fuel filler hose right there just to connect it and not that big mess they had. This is all the junk that came off. You can see this thing here where it was just kind of breaking all, all in there. Look at that. That explains the leak we were dealing with. And I don't know why it was all bandaged up the way that it was with all those hose clamps, but Either way, that's all. What I have here is a replacement fuel filler hose right here. We're going to go ahead and cut the appropriate length that we need, keeping it all one piece instead of kind of bandaging it up like they had here, and just linking it really just those two pieces of metal. There's no need to wrap it as much as they did with all the, those straps. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to cut the desired length, and then we're going to go ahead and attach it, put it back on, and that should take care of our issue. Now it's very important that you pick up, as it says right here, this is a fuel filler hose. It's specific for fuel. If you look inside of it, and I'll get a close up. This is coated properly. It's reinforced properly, specifically for gasoline and fuel to be going through it. What you don't want to be doing is grabbing radiator hose or any other kind of hoses that are rated for liquid because what will happen is the petroleum in the fuel will actually cause it to swell up and it'll eventually just start to break down it'll deteriorate and then you have a major leak on your hand so you want to make sure that you get that now this one here is reinforced with metal but it, you can bend it because this is a fuel filler hose so this goes all the way down i'm only going to be cutting a piece off since we're only connecting that fuel filler neck so you can bend this one here because you can see that it is kind of notched to do that now you can't crimp it all the way because then you're going to go ahead and, and and cause an issue but you can bend it like that and and it can handle that with it so if you're going to be doing like a 90 degree which i'm going to be doing on mine they make 90 degree fuel filler hoses that are kind of preformed as shown here but that's what you want to use you don't want to be trying to bend this on that 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 tight of a bend because it, it will crimp on that. Now, normally when you're dealing with a fuel filler neck, those are usually metal. And usually you have that 90 degree metal piece that goes from the inlet where you would put normally the, uh, the gas pump. And then you get that 90 degree bend that goes down. And then normally at that point is where the fuel filler hose will connect and then go all the way down to the gas tank itself. This particular vehicle, since this was a custom built vehicle, I think because of the way that the frame is, it has a very tight frame coming across there. So they had to cut that fuel filler neck short to make it curve enough. And that's why we have that, that breakdown there. But this would even be if you had a regular fuel, fuel filler uh, neck itself that's leaking or any really part of that fuel filler hose, you could use this same process. So let's go ahead. I'm going to cut the desired amount off and then we're going to go ahead and start rebuilding it. So once you determine the length that you need, what I use is just, just a hacksaw like this, and that is what I found cuts best through this. Now, if it's reinforced with, with the metal ring as this one is, you're also going to need some kind of clippers or wire cutters to snip that off. Otherwise, you're going to have this kind of this strand there. So we've already gone ahead and marked out what we need. 
So I'm going to go ahead and cut it, and then we'll be back to attach it to the actual um, fuel piece itself where it connects to the, to the actual neck. I have the length of hose attached here, and we have one hose clamp here. We're going to go ahead and tighten it, and then we'll go ahead and attach it to the actual neck. Went ahead, connected this into the into the fuel filler hose right here, and then we tighten this hose clamp so that way we have this coming through probably right about here where it connects in, and then this is just really just just sealing that together. I don't know why they had that whole thing coming all the way down to here, but whatever it was, it was failing. So we have all this in, just a simple connection like that. Now that we've gone ahead and fixed that, let's go ahead and fill it again and make sure that there's no leak. Nice and dry. No signs of any leaking at all. All right, well that pretty much wraps up this video. As we see here, that solved the problem, getting rid of all that old junk. It obviously had cracks and breakdowns in it where the gas was leaking through. Now we went ahead and we used, and keep in mind, it has to be proper fuel filler hose because it needs to be rated for fuel. Can't use radiator, hose, things like that. You gotta use the right stuff. But as we saw here, that solved the problem. That wraps up this video. I hope that the video was informative for you. I hope it helped you out with maybe any projects you're dealing with where you have a similar situation where it's leaking. If you have any questions and comments, please send them to me. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.